this is Cumbtown Premium. Which is fat. And we were talking about Roxanne Gay. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Did we start it? We have to start, dude. <laughs> all right, I, don't all right. have, I don't have time to fuck around here. I'm dude. sorry, Mr. Mullen. We're trying to make brownies tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just have a... Oh, do you? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Felix has brown. Oh, we were going to make... <laughs> we were going to make some. It was going to be a project between me and Stoff. But, but, but I wouldn't mind eating night. a brownie, though, if you had one. You, to get in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> Just to kind of get me in the mood. Yeah. I, always, uh, I always jack off before I fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> to just get in the mood to come. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with well, you. Well, that's the concept of a fluffer, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a fluffer is, wow, talk about fucking up in Hollywood, huh? <laughs> Did you end up as one of those guys? <laughs> You're like, I'm going to be an extra on Joey. And that's what you aim for. And then you hit a guy that sucks other men's dicks in between porn scenes. <laughs> you just have to like call your mom and be, she's like, how's acting going? And you're like, oh, good, good, good. You know, not bad, I guess. <laughs> I got a cup, some prospects. I met a guy the other day, who, you know, at the car wash who said that I look like, uh, I look like Walter Matthau. So, uh, you know, I mean, maybe, 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 maybe that means something. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, my lunch break's over. I guess. Uh, no, yeah, no, I'm not really hungry, but uh, <laughs> I gotta get I gotta get back back in there, mom, at the day job. <laughs> yeah, I work at the. the day job. Uh, I'm not. You know, I just don't worry about what I do. <laughs> it's not that serious. <laughs> Hey, McGuire, your phone time's over. He's a sex Rocco's name. losing his chub. Get back in here. Sorry, sorry, Mom, I gotta go. No, don't worry, Rocco, it's a joke. Rocco, it's a joke. I gotta go. Bye, Mom. That's that guy's life. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I love man. the idea that you're in the porn business and you suck dick, but you don't even get to be on camera. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's like... Yeah. You're just... That's insane to me. Yeah. There's fucking JV dick suckers. Yeah. Like, what do you... Do you think you go from fluffer to on-camera talent? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's well, like it's a like, How system. is that necessary? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that maybe if you can't keep your dick hard, you shouldn't be doing porn. <laughs> well, isn't it like most of the dudes that do fucking gay porn are straight? Uh, or, well, or like they whatever, say that. You know, half yeah. straight, whatever it's, they are. <laughs> here's the thing. If you're actually, like, not gay at all, I doubt you would agree to do gay porn. This guy's like, you know, like Peter North always said, he's like, yeah, I just did that. That was just, you know, right, for the paycheck right, or whatever. Right. But if you watch porn? the scene, yeah, if you watch the scenes where he's fucking men, he's like, yeah, he's like <laughs> really into it. He's like 1,000% one, one totally into it. How much of the scenes where he's fucking men have you watched? I've actually only seen Peter North's gay porn. <laughs> it's not the only porn you've watched. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, because it's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just better porn. Two guys know what they're doing. Women you know what fuck mean? shit up, dude. <laughs> they just they shouldn't be in the workplace. <laughs> you know, I just I feel like if they want to, you know, have hobbies or whatever, that's fine. But yeah, you know, we're talking about a professional environment. <laughs> I just respect the work of two men more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being so misogynistic and gay. That's the best. Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's the, the ultimate funniest. misogyny is yeah. sucking other men's dicks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to get Dude, back yeah there's a it. certain kind of gay guy who's the most misogynistic person on earth. He's just fucking... But, uh, both of you went to your phones. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Amber's hitting me up about the show. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to do a show. Yeah, she's like, hope you can make it, which means if I can't, that's fine. Cool. Sweet. Um, Boys bake night. Let's make, yo, yeah, seriously, dude, I we're like baking. I've got a little bit of a respiratory thing going on, yeah, which I, makes me mm-hmm. sound cool. I sound like raspy. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Like Sweet. a sexy businessman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raspy's not sexy. Raspy's sexy for women, but yeah. he wants a raspy dude. Right. You just, they're like, can you just get away from me? Bro? Yeah, he sounds sick. <laughs> yeah, unless well, it's Morgan Freeman. Yeah, he's good. Is, right? Pretty good. Yeah, was that was that a Morgan voice? Freeman impression? <laughs> it's just a noise. Yeah. You didn't even say a word. You're like, how's this? Here's my impression of uh, this is Jack Nicholson. Uh, is that good? That's pretty good. Thanks, man. That actually wasn't bad. For raspy real. men are like uh, <coughs> like I'm older gay. older black men get raspy. Yeah, well, that's Morgan oh, Freeman. Okay. Like, yes, yes, no, yes. no, 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 like Danny Glover. But that's wisdom. Oh, yeah. That's that, wisdom. Well, that's, <laughs> 
Rasp from a, an older <laughs> yeah, black man is, is wisdom. Raspy. We got angels in this outfield. <laughs> I'm I'm getting too old for these angels. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna come home with me, and you gonna be my son. <laughs> Riggs, you're gonna be my son, Riggs. <laughs> Whoa, misdirection. Yeah, oh, wow. Dude, I thought. That was a good bit, too. <clears throat> Morgan Freeman's been old forever. That's a hack bit, but. It's he true. has. It's true. He Wait, has. someone told me Sam Jackson's first movie role was at like 55 years old or something. No. I don't Fuck think that's no. true. No, that's incorrect. There's I just no maybe made that up. But, he, uh, I think he did start later, though. He started later. Um, he did gay porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Morgan he, Freeman did gay porn. Yeah, they did gay yeah, porn together. True. The first time I saw Andy Dufresne, <laughs> I knew I wanted to fuck him. <laughs> Andy, Andy came into Shawshank with the schoolboy luster, the eight-year-olds I used to penetrate. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, that's a good the Shawshank recumption. I never fuck suck. I never imagined an asshole could be so pink. <laughs> <laughs> And his ass <laughs> was the pinkest asshole I have ever seen. He just goes out into that field and he opens that box and it's just pictures of you know, his <laughs> dick. <and ass. laughs> oh my god! Oh man, yeah. There's a yeah. well. I don't know why they call me Red. Probably because that's what his asshole looked like. When I was done with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit fuck. Yeah. that's yeah. real good yeah so anyway that's a good movie I, um, Shawshank I feel like it's it's the, rated as like the number one movie on a bunch of lists and it's like no way have you Perfectly only seen like 30 movies yeah I mean, probably <laughs> is the answer though yeah yeah Shawshank is like the movie that bros could watch to feel emotional and feel like it's not gay uh, you yeah know? why because there's prison rape in it well, yeah. First of all, the bad guys in Shawshank are the sisters, right? Yeah, the, yeah. Gay, the gay bad guys. <laughs> it's, it's pretty rape. funny. I do love that it's both a really... it's They're pretty powerful gay characters, you know? Yeah. Who? Yeah, the sisters. The they're sisters. powerful men. They're gay. That's true. But they also are very evil. Yeah, that's true. So it's true. complicated. That's what all prison is They like. were the wrong type of gay. <laughs> the type of gay you couldn't trust. <laughs> <laughs> Not the... Singing and dancing makeup <laughs> kind of gay. The evil gay. The gay that has no place in this world. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Um, so, stop. how you doing right now? Dude, I'm higher than my dick. Yeah. I fucking accidentally took a... I took a fucking um, <clears throat> edible at, like, early shit, and the person who gave it to me said they were weak. <coughs> and I took one, and it didn't hit until, like... I don't know, dude. An hour ago, yeah. So it yeah. turns out you're weak. So it turns out I'm weak as hell. The Last time bitch. I did edible, I uh, ate an edible and then got to the airport three hours early. <laughs> and then uh, I was at Newark, and there was that's just, not a bad place to be, though. The no, airport? well, that's Newark just good. redesigned the terminal I was in, snacks. so it was all like. Uh, iPads on every seat right, and like right, right. sushi restaurants and wine bars and right, shit and yeah. I was like so high and I was like I would pay fifty dollars right now for a subway sandwich. Yeah. You know, I just want junk food. I'm traveling. Yeah. I don't want a fucking wine bar experience at the at Newark Liberty yeah, that's Airport. So weird. It's so <laughs> who does stupid. that? Man, I love being. I love hanging out at the airport. Go to Hudson News. Maybe get some fucking jelly beans. Oh yeah. <laughs> read uh, read uh, the Home and Garden. I owe thousands of dollars to the Hudson News uh, company. What I used shoplifting? To, I used to steal a lot. Like whenever I was going, I, to, I like, shoplift at LaGuardia. Camp. LaGuardia is the best airport to steal from. Really. Uh, they have this fucking dumb like buffet system for like all the merchandise in this one one term. In, like, oh yeah, so, yeah. So you can just take shit, and then like I was looking for the line, and then I I couldn't find it, and then I saw it, but I'm like, well, I guess if I already couldn't find it, then I can just steal this shit. That's <laughs> how I rationalized it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like entirely possible that I couldn't have found the line, you know? Right, right, right. So, it's, so you have that plausible deniability. Yeah. So I had that uh nice in case the, cops the yogurt with you. granola for free. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's sort of like uh the Whole Foods hot bar, right? Like uh you can just take the food and then sit down at the table and eat the food. 
Yeah, I used to <laughs> eat at the giant by my house in Baltimore. I would immediately stop by this buffet, take a fill it up with fried fucking uh, catfish, mm. <laughs> and just snack on it as I fucking walked. Which one? The one on Thirty Third? Yeah, the one. On they 33rd. had a buffet. Yeah, dude. I used to eat lunch there every day, and I would get a horn, can of Hormel chili. <laughs> And like a seltzer and an orange. And just make, make myself the most bullshit. That lunch. sucks so much. Yeah. I didn't know they had catfish. They had fried cabbage, dude. It was good as shit. I, fuck, I wish there was some right now. And then I would also steal a fucking kind, kind bar. No, lar bar. So I. Uh, and I would Those do that. for women? They're for women. Yeah, dude. Luna. Sorry. No, bad Luna news. Luna bar. For women. You've been taking estrogen granola. What? Yeah. Is that why I haven't been losing weight? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. This whole time. That's it is actually, the, it's, it's a secret. The nipple sensitivity is the coming food from. Industry, <laughs> the food industry has secretly been pumping women with hormones that make them gain weight. Really? To make them upset about themselves. Well, no, but food. isn't it true? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it true that because of like bovine hormones and stuff, like That's girls nowadays <laughs> have bigger titties than yeah. women? Oh, hell yes. To? Uh-huh. Because hell they yeah. grow cow odders. Dude, fuck yeah. That's <laughs> they, I'm all they for eat, that they shit. They eat cut all day. Women now, these days, they all have seven stomachs. <laughs> what? And they're all for processing different the different cums of each race. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a, one stomach for Asian cum, another stomach for black cum. And it's because of the bovine hormones. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, that's 100% true. That's fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Um... Yeah, so we're going to start a new Comtown segment where it's called That's True, <laughs> where we come up with things, and then you guys have to relentlessly vandalize Wikipedia <laughs> until they lock the article. Because you're not going to get anything to stick. There's I, my, my, I've had one thing ever stick on Wikipedia. What, what was that? <laughs> a couple years back, probably almost seven years ago now. Oh, shit. I went to the article for... Uh, the movie Operation Dumbo Drop. Oh, great movie. <laughs> yeah, and I took the plot synopsis. Yeah. And I just did like a find and replace and change the tense on the whole thing. And then I added it to the article for the U.S. involvement in Vietnam War <laughs> under the heading uh, Operation Gray Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> and it stayed up for like five years. <laughs> wow. And I was bragging about it on Twitter, and that's how somebody on Wikipedia found out, because in the notes, they erased it. And in the notes, they're like, some lady was bragging about adding this? There's no evidence that this happened, or whatever? Uh, back in the Nicole Mullen days? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I added that shit. What happened in Operation Dumbo Drop? I've never seen that movie. Uh, it's Vietnam, okay? Mm. You know, it's Charlie... Vietnam War. Charlie yeah. is out there, this, you know, the, causing a ruckus. <laughs> Charlie kills this village's, uh, this, like, uh, VC general kills this, uh, village's elephant. <coughs> so the American army, uh, gives them another elephant, but they have to parachute the elephant into the village. <laughs> yeah. So these three army <laughs> rangers have to <laughs> escort an elephant. Yeah, yeah. No, I shut the fuck up. It's That's a the Disney plot of the movie. movie. Oh, it's, it's great. It's movie? fun. Yeah, they yeah, drop okay. a Dumbo. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's right there in the title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very complicated. Yeah, I don't thing know. To deduce. So yeah. okay, pretty and, good. And Martin Sheen is, uh, or uh, Marlon Brando is, uh, uh, sacrificing <laughs> a, a bull. Yeah, and then spilling the blood. All of it. actually, that's what happened. Was Mar- Martin M- M- Brando killed the first Martin elephant. Brando? <laughs> Martin Lawrence <laughs> Brando? Mar- Ma- Damn, Mountain. Gina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It just sounds like Dr. Evil. Yeah. Martin Brando. Yeah. Damn, Gina. Yeah. Damn, Gina. Yeah. Gina, why are you doing this to me? Gina, Gina I could have been a contender. Oh, God. Pam, what about... How do you react to Pam? I could have been somebody, Gina. <laughs> You know, I could have been, I could have been like Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, you ain't got no. I could have been like Cole. <laughs> Brumman, don't forget Brumman. There's just, uh, there's like Martin dressed as Shanene on yeah. like, uh, on like a, like a, a coroner's table. <laughs> like, we got a massacre, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Get the stepping, Cole. 
<coughs> DC comedy legend uh, Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence, yeah. As mentored by the Fat Doctor. The Fat Doctor, God, baby. that guy sucked a dick, <laughs> yeah. dude. He's still out there. Yeah, he used to come to the Wiseacres open mic and just sit on the stool, and then Mike Diesel would be like, everybody watch him. Everybody has to watch. This man's a legend. <laughs> oh and then he God. would do like popsicle stick level comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And charge $400 yeah. for his class. Can you imagine the fucking audacity of people that got into an industry when there was 200 people doing it? That requires no fucking skill oh, yeah. whatsoever. Right. And then they, you know, 35 years later when they have zero success and a guy they knew, you know, 35 years ago happened to become famous and they're like, uh, I'm actually an expert on this. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. no, you fucked up. You realize everyone in this room would have been famous if they had right. started when you started. Absolutely. To be a comedy fuck up when there was only 200 guys, you have to be a special yeah. type of bad. Yeah. You have to be really fucking bad. Yeah. Damn. That's fucking... Uh, like, it, it's the... Imagine the extent, taking his class. If Tom Myers had started in 1982, he would have had a sitcom. <laughs> he would have had a fucking, you know, canceled after a seven-episode sitcom on yeah. NBC. It's Tom. It's, yeah, Tom Boy. Tom Boy. <laughs> Tommy Boy. The boy, he runs like a small... He goes, he quits his job as a comedian to run a small uh, little league uh, <laughs> uh, uh, tournament in his hometown of, of Hartford, Maryland. <laughs> and, uh, you know... Tom, which burial plot do you want? Yeah. And then the bad guy in the show is Mickey Coachella, who keeps <laughs> evilly inviting Tom onto the radio to humiliate him. <laughs> Are those Tom? What are you doing? This are afternoon? those things up online anywhere? <laughs> no, you can't find them. The very best one of them was this clip of uh, Mickey uh, going. Uh, they, Magoobies had like a. They tried to set the record for oh, the longest yeah, yeah. comedy I've show. Seen that video, yeah. yeah. But the holy, holy shit, shit, holy Tom shit, Tom Myers. Tom Myers. If you know, if John Deere made a lawnmower and they advertised it as the world's shittiest lawnmower, you'd at least look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they deleted Tom's set because I guess Tom felt bad. But Tom did like 20 minutes in front of that crowd. Oh, my God. Did McGoobies end up setting the record? No, I, I don't think they had a certified person there. <laughs> they were just like, we're going to do a long-ass show. Record? Yeah, what a stupid record. <laughs> the longest stand-up show. It actually sounds like that's what hell is. Really? Yeah. Is the McGoobies longest stand-up show of all no, time? No, that would be pretty funny, dude. The guys, that, are you kidding me who they would trot out? I mean, Tom Myers did 20, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I actually believe that we're already in hell, that this is all a simulation. That That's cool. what I've I'm I've been watching the show maybe. Westworld, which is actually, like, it's really smart and deep, even though it's a show about... Oh, my God, it's such a piece of shit. ...filled with naked women the entire time <laughs> and guys shooting each other. But it's actually, it's for, like, smart guys, because Anthony Hopkins <laughs> is in it, which, you know, he's a serious actor, so he wouldn't associate with himself with something that's just pure trash. Yeah, yeah. Pure overproduced. Look, I haven't seen fucking, it. Uh, it's a piece of shit. Really? It's yeah. so bad, dude. And I, I, really I, bad. I posted that it's bad, and, of course, you know, uh, like, immediately people are angry that I said it was bad. Yeah. Which is a telltale sign that? that something is fucking who's, bad. Who's angry? Well, you know, people are like, oh, no, you're fucking... And people got mad at me when I said Stranger Things was bad. Oh, people love that shit. That show is it's bad. bad. It's a fucking bad yeah. show. I never yeah. saw it. I never finished. The Night Of fell apart after three episodes. The pilot was great. The pilot was one of the best things I've seen in a while. Yeah. <laughs> but that show turned into a huge piece of shit. Yep. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I saw someone had a tweet that was like... Jake listens to the podcast, so I don't want to fucking outright shit on him, but I'm pretty sure Jake is watching Westworld <laughs> and I'm having serious it. conversations about it with people. <laughs> well, actually, uh, uh, well... So uh, it's like, if well, there's a toilet... There's right. actually... The thing is, it's like, uh, it was actually based on a book that uh, <laughs> you know I know about because I looked at the Wikipedia page for the show. What is it, H.G. Wells... What, Westworld? Yeah. I think it was just a movie from 1973. With Yule no, Brenner. I thought, I thought it was fucking... The guy who did Jurassic Park did that shit. Michael Crichton? I thought so. <coughs> I don't fucking know, man. I've never <coughs> seen that shit. But well, anyhow, it sucks. It's a bad show. There's titties out, though? Just like when you know people are blowing uh, True Detective out of proportion. 
Oh yeah, you know, it which, wasn't that which good. is it, good. It, it wasn't that was... good. It was you know, it was shot well. It was it, right. you know, well acted and shit. But people were like, you know, what does it mean? And it's like shut the fuck up, dude. Well, they Just... never tell you who the true detective. I only watched the first. <laughs> That's I only watched. I think. I think you've done that joke on this podcast like seven times. <laughs> I've told that joke maybe a hundred times. Yeah, <laughs> and it hasn't been. Funny. Are you just leaving the room? Yeah. What the fuck? Where's that doing? coffee? I told you the coffee's. Uh, just put don't dra- don't fucking drag the goddamn microphone into the kitchen. I'm not dragging the microphone into the kitchen. <laughs> Fuck up. Do you remember those kitchen this phones with like the cord that was like so long? My mom still yeah. has. Yeah, one, yeah, dude. yeah. Really? The, like, the cord of the up. phone is like yeah. tangled mom, as fuck, and it can go like to like the back. <laughs> my mom has like a 35 year old telephone in her apartment, and uh, it just sounds like shit. You know? Does she still have a fucking house phone? Yeah, of course. Really. Yeah, your parents don't have a house. No, nah, they cut that shit, dude. Yeah, no, my my mom like did. She has like a, a prepaid cell phone that she doesn't. I mean, I guess she uses it, but yeah, she's like of the. Well, you need a you need a solid landline. You can't rely on mobile phones. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's wife is like that too. She's like, what if there's an emergency? Yeah, it's like she, then call someone with your cell phone. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. When have you ever like needed the cell phone and you couldn't use it during an emergency? Yeah, I don't fucking get why. I mean the fucking It's just the technology That you used to have Yeah This is just a better version Of that shit Yeah 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 Like there were probably people Who were like Oh I can't use the phone Yeah That shit's risky Yeah no I mean But then you know Then the flip side of that Is like uh, We're probably gonna get To the point where We're like you know Still using laptops Even though no one's Using laptops anymore That's true anymore. Yo I <laughs> I was in fucking Providence this weekend And the owner of the Of the club Had a fucking One of those fucking Um VR sh- like galaxy shits yeah and he had a porn one yeah it was fucking unbelievable oh like dude. a like a headset it was yeah there was just some bitch like riding your dick and like yeah. <laughs> fucking like titties crash or, like in her face yeah dude it was like shot right and she would like I mean this shit was I was I would have for real come in my pants if like left to my own devices in front of a fucking room full of people like I know I know how those fucking you know when they tell those stories about that that theater that like ran when a fucking train when they showed it <laughs> yeah when it, Edison that, for like exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand how they felt completely <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I 100% percent yeah, yeah. understand what was going how, through their how minds how funny would it be if Edison just shot a video of a woman's tits bouncing up and down the whole theater was like oh just busting <laughs> <Yeah>. in the pants <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, oh. <laughs> just a fucking two story tall titties <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, everyone in the theater drown and come and then the, after that that's when they invented uh, like panic bars on doors it was because of the great cum massacre of 1897 oh fuck dude yeah no I, I remember uh, stereoscopic porn which uh, <coughs> where they have two images side by side and there's you know it's shot with like you know you have the subject you know sitting like 10 feet away and then you have two cameras spaced maybe like 5 feet apart mm-hmm. and then you shoot you know with so it's subject. 3D. It's 3D, but you have to cross your eyes to make the 3D work, what? so that the image combines in the yeah, middle. Yeah, Because you look at one each image with each eye, mm-hmm. uh, and I I beat off to that a couple of times. So I just <laughs> sat at my computer, cross-eyed beating <laughs> off to. Which is what they tell you masturbation yeah. does to a person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's true. Well, we meant eventually once the technology advances, that's when you go cross-eyed. <laughs> you just have to be cross-eyed. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Only, it's like a magic eye, dude. <laughs> oh, you have to fucking not focus on it or whatever. <laughs> well, you have to. Yeah, you have to make the images combine. Wow, damn, dude, that is. Was that better than beating off to regular porn? No. <laughs> okay, dude, this shit was like. I'm not even kidding. It was fucking incredible, dude. I want that PlayStation one, dude. Yeah, it's really good. My friend Sawyer just got one. I fucking so want to. Yeah, I want to play. Yeah. I, hopefully, like Gran Turismo works with that. Oh, that'd be so sick. Yeah, yeah, it'd be that awesome. That would be awesome as shit. Just be Holy fucking fuck. driving in Monaco. That would be fucking yeah. tight. Yeah. How be fucking so cool would sick. that be? Yeah. Just be All in of a those Lambo. Games. That's what, yeah. like, I like, the only thing I wanted when I was, like, yeah. fucking 10 is, like, a video game that was totally immersive. Like That's that. what we thought it was going to be when we were little kids. It's when our you, dream. The, the Nintendo glove. <laughs> That's what you thought. You thought you were just fucking going to, like, do VR, and then it was just... 
Yeah, and then you, they had like virtual, like Virtual Boy, which that my neighbor had. So hard. It was like this is just fucking stupid. Yeah, my eyes hurt. Yeah, it's a shittier version of the games on my TV. <laughs> yeah, well, and the games suck too. I remember the only one he had was Mario Tennis. <laughs> it was like a tennis game. Apparently, the PlayStation VR is the best one. Like I've tried the the Google one, the cardboard box joint. Yeah, where you put the Samsung phone in it, yeah. and it makes you feel sick. Like after five minutes. Well, I would trust Sony to do a better job that shit than anybody you know i've been developing games for you know ever yeah and they got fucking movies and shit dog that i don't like what what like movies because that's not the way the director shot the movies right for it to be viewed through you know a fucking virtual reality thing yeah it was like when dvds came out and they had that multiple angle option on the dvd menus so and like imagine how many fucking directors had to be like no fuck you i'm not doing that yeah (laughs) that's why they got rid of it studios pressing them yeah fucking yeah you got to shoot it from alternate angles that's so lame yeah no i mean if the film's supposed to be presented a certain way like imagine if you went to a fucking art gallery and they're like uh well you've never seen the mona lisa like this and they just have a woman dressed as the mona lisa like, <laughs> sitting there they're like now you can look at the back of her head <laughs> there's, there's no point to that that's not what art is you know like that's my fucking <clears throat> take dude i fu- i'm with I think you, that's dude. a good take let's fuck this <laughs> shit up so would you fuck mona lisa <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah dude it was a da vinci isn't yeah. it da vinci trans well no it's actually that's why the mona lisa is smiling because Da Vinci was trans. Mm. It was like, uh, it's like the big mystery. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Michelangelo so Da Vinci. Is that the is end the, of that movie, Mona Lisa Smile? Is that what you find <laughs> out? Yeah, yeah. You find <laughs> wow. out, uh, what's her name? Fucking Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts is trans. Yeah. Wow. Well, that, well, we all know that. Yeah. Did yeah. you know Brad Pitt and, uh, and Angelina Jolie broke up because Brad Pitt is trans now? <laughs> wow. Really? Yeah. I can't believe she wouldn't accept that. The children were misgendering him, so he beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> Which, you know, <laughs> you can't disagree with him. On Someone that. said that it was because he blazes too much. Yeah. Dude, I'm sure he wasn't yeah. fucking anyone, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't fucking any. I'm sure there was the no yeah. chance. Yeah, what is he doing? You know, I'm I'm gonna marry Angelina Jolie, the hottest woman in Hollywood in yeah. 2001, and that's gonna last forever. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, she does not. Yeah, she is hot look as, as good anymore. No, she. No, he no d- uh, was fucking. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> that like incredible French actress. No, I think that was just a rumor, dog. Cotillard. Cotillard would never do that to her fucking man she and husband. Is so. Beautiful, dude. Yeah, dude. I've be, I've beat off to her quite a bit as well. I'm in love. It. Put that on the spreadsheet, Will. <laughs> <laughs> I would fuck every actress. Yeah, I, I think that's true. This. Like literally every actress. And yeah, people are like, much, what do you yeah. mean, like television or movies? And I'm like, mm. every actress, <laughs> yeah. every Angela. single one. <laughs> Community theater. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. Well, that's just that, a woman that lies. It does that's get. It doesn't dicey. matter. If you, any one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Community theater is tough, though, dude. Is it? Like you, you might get some tough responses with any actress through that. That's too open ended. No, I, feel I like think you get a so. lot of Ren Fair people like filling out the lower ranks of community theater. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you guys? Do you guys like Ren Fairs? <laughs> no. no. What the fuck would you like gay. Ren Fairs? <laughs> gay as fuck, right? <laughs> are you, you ever kids <laughs> like in high? <laughs> <like, laughs> I've <laughs> never been to one. I never will like go to Ren one. Fair. <laughs> How funny would it be if one of us loved Ren Fair? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I, I'm not. In, I'm not into. Uh, I think you are. You fucking dragon like dick. You can get like bitch. a big. You can get a turkey leg. You can <laughs> just eat the, the turkey. Leg. You can get a turkey leg anywhere. Anytime. You don't need to go to a fucking Ren Fair to get a turkey leg. You can see people jousting. And it's all, no, that's medieval times. That's not the Ren Fair. Yeah, medieval and that's times. That's completely is different. Cool as I've never shit. been to medieval times, but I would go to medieval times. I'd go there. Yeah, because it's like dinner theater. Yeah, it's. I would absolutely too, go to dinner theater. Do you remember that's like funny. like kids in high school that were Ren Fair kind of kids that were like into that shit? No. There was yeah, this kid I, I went to high school with, Richard, who like uh, the whole of high school. Did you call we, him Bitchard? Because yeah, I would have. <laughs> we I called him Bitchard, and then like when we were reading Russian. Lord of the Flies, we started calling him Piggy. We were very mean to him. <laughs> Hell yeah. And we'd be like, shut the fuck up, Piggy. You don't have the conch. <laughs> we would be like yeah. so mean to him. And anyway, like the, all of high school, he was like, I have a fiance. He, like he like claimed that he had a fiance, and he was also Wiccan, you know? It's like oh always those God. kind of kids that are into Ren Fair oh. kind of shit. <laughs> 
But one day, like, my friend was driving behind him, like, coming into the parking lot of school, and he had this, he had this bumper sticker on his car, it's like, don't be mean to dragons, because you're gonna get, uh, set on fire. <laughs> it's just the nerdiest, like, saddest shit Jesus I've ever Christ. seen in my entire life. And I found oh. him on Facebook, and he really did have a fiance, they got married, they look very happy, they really? in Seattle. Yeah, good for him. What? Yeah, we were really mean to him, good for him. And he was oh, the hilarious. Shit. Dude, fucking... Uh, Don't uh, be mean to dragons. Blake Midget had some, like, white trash guy that he knew growing up who's on Facebook named, like, uh, Louis Gormley or something, uh-huh. who he showed me one time, and that guy was great. He, like, collected swords. Hell yes. But he had, he had one Facebook status one time that was like, best feeling in the world is coming back from vacation. You got more swords than you left. (laughs) 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 And he he had another one on there that was like, someone touches my truck, two words, Mossberg, which I love because that's not two words. It's (laughs) it's one fucking word. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, man. That's so good. A guy who loves swords. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I'll be honest with you. There's, there's it's so kind many. of a shame because you know I would never carry a gun in self defense, but I would love it if I could just carry a katana. <laughs> and because imagine how bad you could fuck somebody up with a katana, dude. Dude, there was some. It is nerds. my one of my like few distinct goals in life. Like dunking is one of them on yeah. a ten foot. Riding a horse and having a sword in my hand <laughs> yeah. would just be the coolest shit. No, imagine dude, somebody tries yeah. to ah, fucking rob you. Just being on a horse. Imagine and somebody fucking... tries to rob you and you're like, hold on a second, and then you just fucking cut their fingers off of both hands at the same time. <laughs> and they're screaming and they know what to do because they fucked with somebody that obviously has Asperger's. And you oh, just yeah. have a fucking katana. All they've been doing is practicing with their well, katana. That, yeah, that yeah. happened in Boston. They just that, sliced their fucking kneecaps off. There's that news, their local news clip they like got big on youtube with that guy with the katana who's like i'm i'm trained in four different sword yeah, fighting yeah, yeah. disciplines yeah in phoenix he was in i think it was in phoenix Dude, yeah somebody literally died like there was someone tried to rob these fucking nerd these hopkins nerds yeah and they fucking killed oh them yeah i remember that story the guy was like hiding in the backyard and yeah. he like came out and the nerds fucking sliced him to pieces with that katana <laughs> <laughs> like these fucking autistic black kids. <laughs> this fucking, there were so many Japanese, like anime loving black kids who loved swords in my yeah, high school, yeah, dude. Yeah. That shit was the best. No, nah, that, yeah, that's that's the fucking way to go. If you're ever, if anyone confronts you ever, just to slice them into a million pieces <laughs> with a. <laughs> you're, you're your gay ass sword, dude. <laughs> that is so demeaning. You yeah, die know, by right. a fucking. Nerd. That's what makes it better. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, like, yeah. It's the worst you way to die. You. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's just like pulls out his Yu-Gi-Oh cards and you're like whoa 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 stop 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 <laughs> that's like how dead with death by Katana is <laughs> fuck man because yeah, you're a fucking loser it's not like you know sometimes you get them sometimes you get God it's like no that guy's a fucking loser he got killed by a GameStop employee <laughs> <laughs> oh god dude I'd love to know what's up with your old boss at GameStop these days Bill yeah. Bill Buckley. Are you friends on Facebook? Wait, no. William Buckley? That's, yeah, his name is William Buckley. I asked him one time, I was like, is there any relation? And he was like, yeah, so actually I've met him, and he is not a very nice gentleman. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if he was lying or not, but dead. I love the idea. Well, this is before he died. Really? Yeah, I love the idea of, of William F. Buckley just shitting all over that GameStop guy. <laughs> they're at some dinner in the Hamptons or whatever, yeah, yeah. an extended family, and they're like, Oh great, Bill's going to be. Uh, <laughs> no, he's uh, uh, rather uh, true. Uh, uh, quite uh, explicitly mentally retarded. <laughs> you know that? You've seen that clip of William F. Buckley calling James Baldwin a faggot, right? It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, didn't isn't that what firing line was in the 1960s? You bring prominent homosexual writers on <laughs> yeah. and call them a faggot. <laughs> You're watching firing line on William F. Buckley Jr. Our guest today is a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call um? What do you call uh, the other guy? What you, Gore Vidal. What do you call Vidal? Uh, he called uh, him a, a queer. A queer. A, queer, yeah. Yeah, a goddamn queer. Yeah. Sock you listen, one, you goddamn Yeah, he goes, queer listen, if like you that. call me a crypto Nazi again, I'll sock you in the goddamn face, you queer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Okay. That was it. Yeah. That's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Vidal got his ass. Vidal cooked him, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Gore, what was that? There's another, that other video is the Gore Vidal versus, uh, who's the guy that 
<coughs> Norman Mailer. W- they killed his wife. Norman Mailer. Did he kill his wife? Uh, did he? I don't know. Burroughs killed his wife. I don't know if Norman Mailer killed his wife also. But yeah, those like those debates on YouTube are actually pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, between the two of them. I, yeah. pa- I peeped that. Yeah, I love how the, on the Gore Vidal uh, documentary, it's like they're interviewing all these people. It's all these like famous people. And then there's just like one like young, very uh, clearly gay man. Mm-hmm. And it just says... Close friend. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, he was who the, fu- him? who the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck watching a Gore Vidal documentary <laughs> won't let you say like fucking bo- yeah. boyfriend? Or, piece. Yeah, ex whatever. Yeah, I just love uh, the pictures of Walt Whitman with his boys. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, that's shit. I love telling people that don't know that Walt Whitman fucked kids. Yeah, <laughs> with the fu- yeah, he looked like fucking like. Gandalf or some shit. Yeah. You know? Because people fucking... Well, yeah, he looks like fucking Merlin. stupid as shit. But I just think it's so funny. It's like gentle, gay-ass poems. They're yeah. just like about a, a breeze blowing okay. through. Look at Walt Whitman was just fucking that boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, too. It's because, like, you know, he has pictures with the boys he would fuck. And back then, it took, like, 45 minutes to take a picture. <laughs> yeah. You had to go, forever. like, nine towns over. Yeah, yeah So he would true. go, yeah, let's go get a fucking daguerreotype of me and this boy I fuck. Just so <laughs> throughout time, everyone will know what I was up to when I wasn't writing these gay ass poems. <laughs> a captain, my captain. Yeah, just imagine having to suck him off. That old ass man. Dude, his fucking dick probably smelled so bad. Yeah, of Terrible. course. Yeah. He worked in the fields and shit and he was hairy and shit. <coughs> Wait, he was like, he was from New York but he moved out to Long Island and then wrote all that shit. Mm. He was a, he was a, he no, was a Long this. Island kind of guy. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's oh. a, it's it's a, it's it's two. It's two gay I'm guys. looking at a picture right now. It's black and if you search Walt Whitman boys, uh, Bing images will just eventually turn that into gay black and white porn. <laughs> <laughs> keep scrolling. So it's so it's one guy sucking another guy's dick, but then the other guy's throwing his head back and laughing, <laughs> laughing so hard. Yeah, like a fucking uh, like a socialite. Yeah, and then he's got his legs up. He has his legs, uh, uh, his Kinda knees Indian retracted. Style. Yeah, retracted to his chest while getting his dick sucked. <laughs> so he looks like a baby being changed. <laughs> yeah. While this other guy sucks his dick. <laughs> I guess that's art because you know, yeah. it's black and white. You can't see any dick either. Yeah, that's how you know it's good art if you can't see the dick. True. Yeah. But you can still taste it. <coughs> Fuck, Adam, you go. What's going on with you? Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, what are you uh, laughing at? Such, okay, so this is more gay porn. <laughs> And uh, this We're one just you can it's on a, gay porn. It's on a you boat. can absolutely <laughs> oh, yeah. see the dick. So it's on a boat. One guy's wearing board shorts and nothing else, but he's got his dick po- and balls pulled over the top is of the board shorts. This is olden days. No, yeah, no, no. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, yeah. this is new. This is new. So he's got his dick and balls pulled over the board shorts, <laughs> and the other guy's sucking his dick. When the guy's got his the, a dick sucker guy's got his eyes closed and he's sucking the guy's dick. Well, he's like it really hard. Well, too. yeah, he's really hard. But then the board shorts guy who's getting his dick sucked is bending over like Neo in the Matrix, <laughs> dodging yeah. the bullet. <laughs> so he's like, you know. Oh, that's so funny. Right, yeah. So what are you saying? That I can dodge bullets? Like it looks like. <laughs> no, he- Neo. I'm saying when you're ready, you won't have to. <laughs> it looks like he's sucking his soul out of his dick. Like that's how hard he's going. Yeah, you hear that, like Mr. Was- Anderson? That's the sound of you coming. <laughs> it's the sound of inevitability. <laughs> the hey guys, the gay tricks. The gay tricks. The gay tricks. What are the Thank chances? You. How about this? That the maid, major dicks. Made. What are the chances dicks? that one Wykowski's like <laughs> that I'm trans? <laughs> one Wykowski's like I'm trans now, and then five years later, the other one's like I'm trans. They now. No, you other. know what it is? It's like they were a creative team, but one of them is like you know with the Cohen brothers, where Joel is the one that's actually talented. And yeah, the yeah. Guys, a fucking water. Ethan. Yeah. He's uh, not. He, he might know, be good. Know, we don't yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, but and then but you know that's what it is with the Wachowskis. One of them is the workhorse, and so who Lana or the other one? Um, Dingus. Dingus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What are you doing? Over I'm here? not doing anything. It's your, your closet just all this stuff fell out. Yeah, the, sure. I'm sure that had nothing to do with you fucking touching <laughs> shit. I wasn't touching anything, around. dude. I want to hear about the Wachowskis. 
<laughs> so Dingus is the smart one. Dingus is Dingus and Waldorf. And <laughs> Waldorf is the smart one, I guess. And he decided he was going to be trans first. And the other guy was like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 me too. Because he doesn't have any good ideas. He was the one that came up with the Animatrix. The, one that's the copycat trans. Um, There's no way the Walkowskis are hot, right? Because <laughs> they're old as shit already. Yeah. yeah. They're... They're really into uh, like, like dressing like sort of like Matrix people, like dreadlocks. Mm. Oh yeah, I saw the yeah. pink dreads. Pink dreads. Lana's got pink dreads. Um, and then they both uh, fucked the Merovingian. <laughs> that character, that dumbass. That's my character. favorite character. What's the Merovingian? The Merovingian is the French single. guy that makes the pussy tickling cake. Yeah, yeah. They use he like, makes the girl come hey, with Look cake. at this cake I have made to tickle this girl's pussy. <laughs> Wait, He's like, uh, I know every uh, language uh, that you humans have invented. <laughs> He's like, I have sampled every language. This French is the most perfect. It's like wiping your ass with, with silk. silk. Yeah, that's the best. It's like Wait, wiping right. your ass with <laughs> silk. <laughs> Which, <laughs> especially to cares in? with. In the Matrix, too. The first one? The Matrix, oh, too, dude. The I don't think I saw the second one. Whose wife oh, betrays him. It's a wild he ride. does not <laughs> kiss me like you used to. Oh yeah, she helps Neo. And then Foolish she boy, I survived your predecessors, and I will survive you. <laughs> I always thought like that um, that his chick was like whack. Like I was always like, why is Neo so into this girl? Who Trinity? Trinity. Yeah, yeah. she's not hot. She's Karen not Moss hot. Is not Maybe she sucks dick good. He could have like had any. You girl. never know, dude. Yeah. He yeah, was I mean, the if, one, if you dude. have the power, that's what I didn't understand. That first movie ends, and he's like, "It's a man born with the power to change anything he wants in the Matrix," right? And then the second movie starts off, and like, all he can really do is fly. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was just like that's a, a far cry from changing anything he wants. Yeah, it's of just course. he's able to fly around. God, and that first movie is so fucking good. It's okay. I it's haven't good. seen it in a long it's time, good, but yeah. I remember it being like the first time I saw it. When but I was you know like, what it is? <laughs> you know what I haven't watched in a long time that I liked a lot when it came out is V for Vendetta. No, like, it's bad. No, it's it. not. V for Vendetta is sure? pretty good. Yeah, I, I just think it's it. bad because it inspired all those douchebags to wear those masks. Yeah, yeah. I guy mean, fucks not. masks. Guy it's fucks. Dumb. Guy what if his fucks. name was Guy fucks? He was like the guy that like got the most laid in yeah, the fifteen hundreds. Now we're talking, and that's why he had to bomb Parliament because they were so they were jealous of him, so they put him in How jail. Much pussy he ate because he was because Guy fucks. Fuck. Guy fucks. <laughs> fucked. It. That's pretty good. What about Guy oh. Fucksieri? Oh, that's good like too. Guy Fieri, yeah. but he fucks. What hey, we're remembering the fifth of November with honey barbecue wings. <laughs> Hey, check this out. <laughs> Boom. I'm driving my Corvette all the way to the barbecue restaurant. We're going to get nine shots. Me and Dan Soder were laughing about, you know, the intro to that show of Driners Driving and Dives. This is like him driving that Corvette or whatever. Is it a Corvette? I thought it was like nah, a hot rod yeah, or something. I don't know what the fuck. So, I don't yeah, some fucking stupid car. Yeah. Uh, but they shoot that every time and he totals the car. <laughs> the episode. <laughs> they have a budget of like $80 million. Because he's like, hey, I'm God for you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crashes. We need another so Corvette. He goes up on the sidewalk <laughs> bouncing over all these children. Yeah. <laughs> they have to pause production because he has 12 months of like really intense <laughs> rehab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He like gets They're a like, brain injury. Ah, my name's Guy and uh, there's like one guy in rehab is like, oh, Merrick, I'm here. Uh, we're in a meth lab and I blew up and killed my daughter. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I'm Guy. Uh, I'm here for uh, milkshakes. <laughs> uh, too many milkshakes, brother. <laughs> have you ever looked at pictures of him before he looked like that? Yeah, I have. They're weird. He's just like kind of weird. fat guy with, yeah, with yeah, yeah. fucking black hair. It's like hair. seeing pictures of Dan Whitney before his Larry the Cable guy. Did you see that video of Larry the Cable guy breaking that guy's arm? Oh my god, the <laughs> arm wrestling? Yeah. What? Yeah, Somebody yeah, Larry challenged. the Cable guy's swole as fuck. Yeah. What? Apparently he's <laughs> really here. strong. Look at Guy here. No, that's, that's fucking Photoshop. <laughs> that's no, that's, that's him, a Photoshop dude. of him as a real... No, as, that's what he looks like. No, dude. No, I think yeah, that's no, fake. Real. That's Photoshop fake. Fucking bitch. No, it's real. No, it is not. Bitch. Yeah, it is. Uh, and his name is Guy Ferry. That's funny. He changed it. Guy Ferry. To Fieri? Yeah. Guy Fieri. Wow. Damn, I would love a fucking chicken a parmigiana. Chicken a vagina. 
Or a fucking a eggplant. Ch- a chicken that puts a giant. An eggplant parmesan, my dude. Eggplant parmesan. Because that'd I, be a good, that'd be a good, like, be uh, a split yeah, off yeah, podcast. Exactly. So I have a for breaded you. vegetable. You eat too many edibles and then you just sit there being like, God damn, dude, you know what I, f- I fucking would love? Some White Castle sliders, dude. A crave case? <laughs> no joke. I will 100% case. fucking record that. Podcast. How much go- <laughs> How much goes into a crave case? Is that 40 sliders? So it's 30, I think. 30. And it's like a Yo, suitcase. Seriously, though, look at Guy Fieri before. <laughs> uh, uh, the, but the, the home, he bit. showed us a, pretty good. a, a picture, picture of, of Al Borland. Al Borland. <laughs> from Guy Fieri for a poor picture. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I want to have uh, a podcast where I just document me trying to figure out how to make barbecue sauce. Yeah. I just get in the kitchen. Yeah, what is mesquite? Is it a type of wood? Yeah, well, uh, I, I think know. so. I don't know. I don't fucking know. How, so they put the wood in the ketchup? <laughs> yeah, they got, well... Well, you put they, the wood in nah, the ketchup. Do you use liquid smoke? When I don't know how that works, but I'm assuming you take like a... It's basically like a bong, I guess. Hell yeah. And then that goes through so some, some suspension Hell liquid, yes. and you just pull the... Maybe like oil or something? You know, maybe like vegetable? What's the base of it? I have no idea. I have no idea how it works. Probably tomato sauce. I would I would love to just it's learn how to make ketchup. all this shit itself. Essentially, yeah, ketchup's a big fucking component. Sav, you're supposed to know all this shit. Yeah. It is, bitch. A fucking, uh, uh, an easy fucking barbecue sauce recipe is just ketchup, fucking some honey. And Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, and then you got it, baby. Yeah. You know what's the really want to go fucking crazy. Yeah, let me some drop some garlic. knowledge on you. Really good, really good recipe. You take ketchup, you mix it up with mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. Call that... Call that uh, Russian greatest dressing. secret our country ever put. <laughs> <laughs> is that what Russian dressing is for real? It's, yeah, dude, you didn't yeah. know that. Come I on, felt like stop. I heard that around, but no, it, dude, Russian tasted a little different. You know what? Uh, you know what's great? One time uh, I made shrimp cocktail, and I made my own cocktail sauce and blew Dana's mind that it was just for horseradish and ketchup. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so should we take a break? Sure. We could do All that. Right. Yeah, we're going to take a break and then come back. See you later. We've been gone for a nice amount. No, we haven't. Uh, no? We'll be back, and t- I'll tell you guys, the second half is going to hit hard. We're going to do some bits. We're going to sober stav up. No, I'm fucked up, dude. All right. Well, <laughs> sorry sorry to the subscribers. Uh, obviously, my co hosts are taking this shit for granted. No. And uh, they can take a hike, if you ask me. Come on, man. We'll be back. Come on, dude. You are about to enter my room in all its messy glory. Yes. My TV, 32 inch, I think it is, or it's 40 inch, I don't know, something like that. Uh, Samsung 1080p came with the sound system. That's an external hard drive. My PS3, yes, dusty. My 360 with a custom faceplate. Manga, <laughs> games, Blu rays. Manga, games, DVDs, there's a few Blu-rays, manga, some books, that all down there is Shonen Jump and Shoujo B, that's not even all of them. Posters, a PS3, yes, and printouts, yes that's Chobits, manga, printouts from years ago, a PS3, yes, manga, my w- calendar. It's not one I would have preferred, but it's all right. Poster I got years ago in a new type or something. This is a side of my bed. Manga, yes. (sighs) This is my bed, in fact, right there. Manga is my computer, which I have a video of already. New secret bedroom album. That's my dresser. My PS3, yes. Hello. Yes, my hair is a bit of a mess. I'm going to bed in a few minutes, okay, so give me a break. Uh, that's a bookshelf full of random crap, mostly VHS tapes. That's a desk that used to have my computer monitor on, but yeah, I hated sitting down on that chair. It was uncomfortable. That chair. My PS3, yes. That's my old computer. It's about 10 years old, I think. That's the one monitor. Yes. That's that's where the uh, power... Su- uh, power strip is now. It's, uh, I don't know what to care about. See, oh, I've got my own sofa too. My PS3, yes. 
I'm leaving now. Manga. Manga. We're back, bitch. And we're back, baby. And, and one. And we're back. Oh, we gotta bring this up. Uh, complaint for my girlfriend, Stavros. She says that you say faggot too much on the oh, show. Oh, that's probably true. Show? Yeah, that you come off homophobic. Interesting. And it's like, you know, everyone knows that this is just irony. Basically, everyone that listens to the show, characters. none of them are actually racist or homophobic. You know, they're all they're all good people doing irony. Um, I'm being ironic. I probably yeah. do. You know, we just let our hair down here. Everyone's, you know, it's like a warm bath of saying bad words. I think that's what, yeah, you know, we're, we're three comics trying to make each other laugh. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's the point of the show. But <laughs> I, like, have a bunch of friends that I haven't really hung out with at all, but I told about the show a couple months ago, and it turns out they've listened to every episode. So that's how they've ma- maintained a relationship with me. Oh, man. And so whenever, like, they hit me up, they'll be like, what's up, you fucking retarded faggot? And I'm like, that's not, uh-huh. <laughs> that's not, yeah. no, anytime that's I not do, what I'm into, Anytime I do red eye, I get messages from people like that. Really? Like, you, f- you fucking faggot, idiot, queer, good job on the show, that <laughs> bitch. <laughs> and we're like, you know. Um, I was, speaking of uh, hopefully we're things, not, though. We're not uh, spurring any of any uh, real world homophobia. I hope so. Uh, except <laughs> against George Takai. Fuck that. <laughs> I yeah. my, my, my biggest pet peeve, I, I, I fucking hate penis? when uh, when people... We'll say like, uh, well, you're acting as a conduit for that or you're enabling it in other people. And it's like, no, I'm fucking not. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm absolutely not. <laughs> they might feel like they're comfortable saying that kind of shit to me or whatever, but I'm not fucking empowering anyone to do anything. And I'm, even if I am, I'm not responsible for it. Yeah, be an adult. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, you can't fucking blame me for what other people do. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, that's how we feel about uh, what about the gift the guy did of us fucking? That was beautiful. That was good, dude. That was a good <laughs> cartoon. I want to save that and then pitch it to shows as like pitch it to like Cartoon Planet as like a show for kids. <laughs> that should if kids listen. I'd say you want kids. You want to end homophobia? Stop. Put a put a show on for children that's just men fucking. Yeah, <laughs> and make children watch it until they understand. Yeah, and if that that. That gif of here's, us fucking. Here's of what you do. Fucking you fucking beautiful. You want kids to stop being problematic. You, you get a show and you put the Animal Planet music in the background, and it's just videos of SRS surgery. It's people getting their dick cut off <laughs> and turned into, into a has, they're oh, having their no. colon gra- pieces of their colon grafted into the hole yeah. to form a, a facsimile vagina. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And but then there's like like slide whistles and stuff yep. going on in the For background. Kids. Like yeah. Boop, 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 boop. yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. You know, Camp Town Ray says do that, do da, do da. The curb and you're the ass balls theme. off. <laughs> yeah. And then Camp Town Ray says, and then you know, like the subdermal hormone implants. You know, so uh-huh. you know they have it and like that kind of stuff and kids will be responsive to it if you just have like you know maybe like a cartoon cat that's like hey guys it's me uh normal the cat this is this is normal by the way it gets my seal of approval (laughs) yeah and that's how you do it there's a lot of ideas put me in charge hashtag give the children shows to white men yeah it's true (laughs) if you gave us the corporation for public broadcasting sponsored by viewers like you I mean, PBS. We if you just think about kids. how, how like, you know, problematic. I mean, they have, like, you know, Barney is a dinosaur. That's threatening. <laughs> He's also, <laughs> you know, anachronistic and extremely old-fashioned. It's true. <laughs> you don't get a dinosaur, right? You know? Uh-huh. You, you change it to... Uh, uh, you know something from the future, mm-hmm. like a future creature. That's the thing is, so like, look for that's how you instill ideas of progressiveness in children. Is you don't go old timey animal that doesn't exist anymore. You go future animal. You're mm-hmm. like a dog with a huge pair of breasts. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, yo, that would, that be, would be cool. Incredible. Yeah, would it get in the way of it walking? Or would they be on its back? Uh, dogs will develop bipedalism in the late 2030s. Oh, yeah. So we just, when you say a dog with big tits, it, it walks upright. It walks upright. But it has the face of a dog? It has, it's a dog. It's it's just, a dog. It just has huge, just fucking It's like if its goofy. arms go down, hang like ours hang? Uh, they no, they're still fucked up like it's dogs are. It's okay. like if Goofy had jumbo yum-yums. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? 
but their faces just look like no. Dog so how, what it is is it's goofy, but instead of the teeth in the front, they're just huge tits that hang down <laughs> uh-huh. from the mouth. Yeah, that would be fucking awesome too. Gosh, Max, <laughs> it's like Dad. Everyone can see your tits. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, get out of here! You're fucking embarrassing me. Everyone can see your huge mouth tits. <laughs> that's the, what the Goof Troop movie is. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a much better movie. No, I don't fucking shit on movie. Goof. The Did you identify troop? with the fat neighbor? Was no, dude, I was the Pete. cool guy. Whoever the cool one was, it was the cool power one. line, Pauly the pop star. Yeah, I was probably sure. The, the, the leaning yeah. tower of, of cheese, cheese uh, baby. Yeah, I think I legit fucking, wanted to be that guy, dude. Paulie Shore and all he played the same character in every movie yeah. for like four years How until did he they stopped a career. I don't know because I his loved mom's, his mom's Mitzi. I loved all right. those movies. <laughs> yeah, I dude, I saw Biodome in theaters. Bio, I saw it in theaters as well. <laughs> I fucking loved. I've that never movie. seen yeah. Biodome. I remember in walking the army now. I fucking loved. Yeah. I loved I remember all walking like out of the theater when I saw Biodome and being like, that was so good. Yeah, me too. When I was like six this or whatever. Is <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was this Biodome? This film about? with a capital F. But yeah, um, Biodome is he like lives in this uh, yeah. glass encased habitat yeah. with his boy a lot Stephen of stoner, Baldwin. Stephen Baldwin, a lot of stoner hilarity ensues. Yeah. Um, you know, Stephen Baldwin. It was like Polly Shore. Did you guys before you ever smoked weed think weed was cool? Yeah, of course. Yeah, me too. Yeah, like, but see, they didn't. They didn't ever explicitly say. No, he was they never talked weed. about weed. Yeah, yeah. It was just guys that were stoners. Yeah, I mean, but I, I tell you, half baked is the reason I smoked weed. Oh, me too. You know, you yeah. saw half baked, and you're like, yeah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, of course, dude. I remember at camp there was like a group of guys like in a circle just quoting half baked. I hadn't seen it, so I just memorized their summaries of half baked, and then I quoted it to other people as if I'd seen half baked. It was very fucking, psychotic. Uh, fucking loser. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> loser. <laughs> Yo, that sucks. That so story sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's really humiliating. I'm, I thought this was a safe You're space. Bitch, dude. I thought this was a safe space I could open up. No, you can, dude. But that shit sucks. People dude. have. <laughs> I thought it was really cool that they're talking about half baked. And I wish I'm friends with some of those guys. That's now. tight. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna be friends with you after they hear that. Yeah, it's fucking. It's what if really uh, What if you shit. still hadn't seen Half Baked, dude? Yeah, spoiler. There's movies I'm like that with, but I don't remember the shit. Like I never see. I never saw The Princess Bride. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And I'm it's not gonna overrated. watch it. I'm not gonna fucking watch it now. Yeah, people yeah, bitch at me about. It. They're like, you have to watch it. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't. No, you don't. I really fucking don't yeah. have to see that. It's Ted Cruz's favorite movie. Really? <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah. sense. That's awesome. Yeah, Ted. Yeah. Cru- have you ever seen the clips of Ted Cruz in the the Crucible in his law school? His law school did a play, hmm. and he he played a uh, he played John Proctor, I think, in the Crucible, and he's like, it, it's really funny. You should just you watch remember it. That dur- during the primary, because <laughs> it's my name and it's the only one I have. <laughs> yeah, he's so weird. That, dude. that yeah. video that came out of the primaries of him in high school, they were like, "What are your plans for the future?" And he's like, uh, "World domination." You know, he <laughs> says that, and people were like. This is shocking and chilling <laughs> that he would have said that. And it's like, he's clearly joking. Yeah, he's, he's fucking a, retard. He's a 17 year old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's making a joke about going into politics. It's well, just he's not like, even, I did, you know, you don't even know if he's like fucking right, talking about going right. into politics. So what, a, what, it doesn't matter what he fucking, I did annoy yeah. the shit out of me when people, yeah, yeah I mean, that's him. crazy to think that, and, and we've let it, we've been yeah. letting him get his plot achieved. It's yeah. like, he's just running for office yeah, and yeah, winning. Right. There's no, no secret was, thing. It was like that last debate when as soon as he said nasty women, I'm like, ugh, all the yeah. fucking just dumb <laughs> bitches. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, not to be mean, but that's who's, that's who's like, oh, now I, I guess I'm a mean. nasty woman. Let's take that back. Let's mm-hmm. claim, let's make that ours. It's true. And it's like, just, sh- there have been a lot no, of like, what t-shirts. was better was just like, shut up, please. Was like women <laughs> trying to, White women trying to use African American vernacular English with the nasty girl thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, of course. Yeah, Debbie Wasserman Sh- Schultz being like, yeah. "Sorry, Donald, but I'm a you know like I be I be I done be a nasty. I done woman. been a nasty <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you know? Oh, you better you better uh, done diddly <laughs> fixing the <laughs> because let me tell you some, honey child. Baby girl, <laughs> honey child, <laughs> honey child. My man said he got he got the whole sandwich 
in his pants. <laughs> it's like, De- Debbie, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, are you okay? My, uh, my, my man said, let me hold that motherfucking dice. Why don't you slap that motherfucking dice in my hand? <laughs> Debbie, are you are you okay? Do you need to go to the hospital? <laughs> oh, sorry. I was having a moment there. Man. Yeah, she got <laughs> hot sauce poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She had too much hot sauce. She got hot. hot. Get the doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, ain't no doctor <laughs> necessary yeah, yeah. here. She's trying to like, <laughs> 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 she's just suburban. Yeah. She's like, whoa, somebody break me all a piece of that. <laughs> It's Big Mama's house. <laughs> hey, Big Mama's house over here. Uh, somebody, God. somebody, pat my weed. <laughs> She's fucking tapping on her head. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like screen cap Clara Jeffrey having some fucking. Oh, I saw that. that Anita Hill thing. That was hilarious. She said? She, she's like, it's a picture of like Anita Hill and Ivanka Trump, and Clara Jeffrey was like. If I had to, no, she, what'd she say? She's like, if I had to decipher her hands right now, she would be saying, girl, I don't want none of that. Or like, yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Something oh, like no. that. Real, real, like, real. shut up. <laughs> wise, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wise, sassy, wise. <coughs> Fat black lady. Yeah, that's yeah. why they're good to be best friends with. You know, <laughs> best friends gonna, at your job. At your job, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. She's too sassy. <laughs> She's too sassy. She's going to explode. <laughs> Help. Help. It's like, excuse me, what do you actually do in this office? <laughs> like, I don't think that's any of your business. <laughs> like, well, I'm your supervisor, so. I don't get paid to tell you yeah. what I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I'm here for. Uh, why the vending machine out of Hot Fire Cheetos? <laughs> I want, <laughs> isn't that your job? <laughs> I want... Andy Cat's hot fries. <laughs> Why are there any hot fries and Sprite? They should come in the same package. <laughs> I shouldn't have to order two different things. God, I, I've I. That's another group of people that either despise me or absolutely love me. And what, fat black women? Like, older, flat, fat black women. Yeah. They, you know, with my dog. Yeah, here's noticed. the trick, though. They all despise you. <laughs> they probably just pretend do. to like you. Because yeah, yeah. they have to. Because they're at work. If an older black woman calls you baby, it's like, feels be- it feels really nice. I don't think so. I, I think it does. I don't like being called baby by anybody. Come on. No one? No. Baby. Nobody. No, that's no Nick's, a, baby? Nick's a big boy and he's not yeah. a baby. It's an old it's like an old lady saying it like no, a grandma. It's, yeah, it just right, feels baby. it feels uh, like disingenuous. I it's like, they, like oh, when a waitress so calls me winning. sugar, I fucking hate that yeah, shit. Yeah, okay, I'm with you there. That fucking shit annoys the hell out of me. Yep, yep, yep. How you doing, hon? They're like <sighs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I hate when waitresses. There was one waitress who was so good at being a waitress that I felt like the way strip clubs, guy, guys at strip clubs feel about strippers. Yeah. Where I was like, she is like into me, dude. <clears throat> this waitress is so like, mm-hmm. she cle- she's just like, but she is clearly not. She's like a fucking gorgeous. She's whatever. doing her job, and she's so good at it. And I'm like, she's a fucking professional. Yo, literally, when she dropped the check, she like she had it down to a sign. She like took her hair down, <coughs> so she looked even hotter. Shut up! I swear to God, it was crazy. What, what a scam. What restaurant? She it was in Tampa. It was some fucking, like some kind of steakhouse place. Shout out to that bitch from the steakhouse in Tampa. <laughs> Yo, have you guys have you guys been to um, a Chili's or an Applebee's recently? No, no why? why? They got iPads on every table. Hell yeah, dude! So a fun a go? fun thing to do. What 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 I did was. Uh, you can sign up all your enemies for the Chili's to go email list. <laughs> That's uh, you know what I love doing time. is you go to the Verizon store where they let you put in your name on the the kiosk. Yeah, yeah. And it has everyone's name up top. Oh, yes. You put your name in as Stephen Hithead or or Daniel Ick Ickface. Yeah, it just uh, says it just says Dickface well. or Nathan Eggers, which is oh no. <laughs> Wait, that Nick, what was that? That one's too far. Nathan Eggers. <laughs> Does that count? Imagine a guy. What's that? No, it doesn't Nathan. count, dude. It doesn't count. Imagine as if that was R. a guy's real name. No, it doesn't fucking count. It's not. I think wrong. that counts as almost hard R. 
No, no, no get out of here. Get you the still fuck out of here, dude. We're talking about assembling something. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about deconstruction, which Amazing. is the only way to end racism, by the way. Thank it's you. true. It's just a word. Kramer taught me that. Yeah. Kramer's not a bad guy. <laughs> Kramer's a good dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, amazing, oh, amazing physical comedian. <laughs> I just want to know what the bit he was doing was before he, that happened. I think there's some, some. It's really bad. I remember looking this up. Yeah, it was yeah, very everyone, stupid. And then he's doing bit. crowd work and he's bombing. So he starts calling them. He just like starts being racist as shit. Yeah. And then he was like, I remember the. Where's that? that? The factory. Yeah. And he laugh at. And what do you say? Two hundred years ago, they'd be hanging from a tree. <laughs> they'd, they'd be upside down with a fork up your ass. Oh. Which but makes no sense. Ass? He was putting forks in people's asses. <laughs> what kind of? That's like a Jeff. weird mob thing. Yeah, yeah that's fuck, why would you be upside yeah, it's down? Like, give them, give them the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> you put a fork up someone's <laughs> ass and you twist. Yeah, that's how you. Uh, so I fuck also. That's how you collect spaghetti. <laughs> so I guess uh, what other characters we got going on this? Oh, week? we got some really good ones. When does this come out? Nick? I have to put it up tonight, dude. Okay, so like then it. if you're listening to this and you're in New York, our show is on Monday night, tomorrow night at nine. At come on, everybody! It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. We have a surprise guest, probably who's a big hot shot. It's gonna be Mort Saul. Yeah, Mort Saul is going to be there tonight. It's going to be the ghost of. Uh, He's 168 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the ghost. But he still uh, got opinions. What's his name from the 90s? The observational guy that killed himself. Richard Jenny. Richard yeah, Jenny. Richard Jenny. Richard Jenny's the, a good comic. He's dude. a really good. We got comic. the ghost of Richard Jenny. Was he gay? Is that why he killed himself? No, no. you are though. All right. Nice. Come on. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was me and Nick high fiving. Well, first of all, because <laughs> Adam's gay. First yeah. of all, I want to say thank you because I I think that it's cool to be Shut gay up. and I think it's cool to be called gay. I, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I don't think it's an attack. Um, so Whatever, thank bro. you for calling me gay. Shut up, dude. Um, but uh, well, it's not I accurate. just heard the, the news today. <laughs> It seems that Adam is <laughs> fucking gay. <laughs> but arms wide open. I am a faggot. Adam's a faggot. <laughs> I'm With ass wide open. And shit. <laughs> I suck a man off. That, says, that song's actually about Adam. With that Creed song? With ass wide open? Yeah. With ass wide open. on. <laughs> Into a man's ass, I stick my dick, <laughs> and I blow my load <laughs> with their swat open. It sounds about like finding out his like girlfriend's pregnant or something. I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was all Christian. Yeah, but that song's about like you know bringing a life into this world. Well, that is nice. Uh, is it? I don't know. I, I don't think, think so. Creed so. sucked, right? You yeah, Creed, Creed sucks. Oh, whoa, Savras, what a controversial hot take. I liked it. They had wow, they had really one time they had, you know what shitty Creed. band I liked like legitimately stabbing westward. I don't know them. Uh, <laughs> you would know them if you heard them. What's their what's their big hit, baby? Um, yeah, I'll play a couple. <laughs> you know what band I legit like? <laughs> what? The D, Tenacious D. Yeah, I would listen to some Tenacious D, no joke. <laughs> I think they're good. Yeah, I I straight up like comedy music. I know <laughs> that it's not sucks. I know it's not cool. <laughs> what do you mean you like it? Like you I just like listen it. to it. I like I like Little Dicky. Like I like like I actually kind of like some. I like music. I like that's the Lonely funny. Island. I I think the Lonely Island's incredible. Yeah, that Captain Jack Sparrow song is like unbelievable. Hell yeah! They were like. Who's this? I guess it's industrial. Is this click, click, like boom? Like pop? No, no. Yo, what about System of the Down, though, dude? That no, dude. An- anti-Semitic, fast. dude. Okay, let's just system. Was he down. anti-Semitic? Anti. <coughs> they were anti-Semitic by bringing up the Armenian uh, Holocaust. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We it's have, actually it's anti-Semitic to mention any other. Yeah, genocide. it's true. All Cambodians are anti-Semitic. <laughs> yeah. um, all Cambodians, all uh, Indonesians that died in the '60s. Uh, oh, yeah. During the military coup, um, yeah. Ooh, all look at Mr. Wikipedia page over here. <laughs> oh, somebody loves Holocaust. <laughs> listen, fam. Listen, fam. If, if there's one thing your boy fucks with, that's uh, oh, you know what Holocaust. I love the Holocaust. A good Holocaust. I love all of the Holocaust. I actually really like kind of do. 
Yeah. What I do like, you mean? I read nonfiction books about, well, not about the Holocaust, but about the Nazis. And m- yeah, yeah. More specifically. Um, that is pretty interesting. I just finished uh, Eichmann in Jerusalem. <laughs> What's that? Uh, this is the Come Town uh, Book Corner. Um, What's that for? Eichmann in Jerusalem. It's about the trial of Adolf, Adolf Eichmann. It's called The Banality of Evil. Uh-huh. Um, is the sub. I guess Eichmann in Jerusalem is the subtitle. People know that book as The Banality of Evil. But basically, it's about how when you the Nazis after the war was. <laughs> When they're confronted... Okay, all right. <laughs> the psychology of someone that could do... Me, 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 No one me, me, me is in real life. That was so No one me, me, me is. The me, me, me. It's basically like, how could you do... And then whistling out. How could you do these brutal, terrible things and justify it as, like, be a normal person? And justify, you know, <laughs> doing the Holocaust, doing some of the most, doing some of the most gruesome, one of the most gruesome things that anyone's, <laughs> guys, can you be a little bit more respectful of, I'm trying to explain this book, The Banality of Evil. Yo, we gotta go to the Holocaust Museum and make that noise, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is boring. <laughs> <laughs> this place is boring as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just somehow blowing bubbles <laughs> while you're asleep. <laughs> no, you get kicked out for blowing bubbles with the tour guide. He <laughs> started sucking on his thumb and blowing bubbles at everybody. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, man. Anyway, so it's a really good book. That's been the uh, Sounds good. Come Down <laughs> Book Corner. Oh, uh, you guys should check it out. It's it's Shut amazing. Up. It was actually... Uh, I've never read a book. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah, reading books is lame as shit. When's dude. the last time you read a book for real? I Mine read was, The Banality of Evil recently. Mine was, I don't know, dude. I want to be smart again. Do you think I'm just dumb forever? I feel like I was smart in college. You're pretty smart. You know, the, and and Nick Nick's very smart, too. Nick's, Nick is smart, but You Nick guys never, play up the, the thing that we're dumb, but we're, we're actually very smart guys. We're not smart. We're I'm not actually, smart. I think, pretty dumb, to be honest with you guys. Mm. I'm good at knowing one sentence about each subject, but I'm not good at knowing anything in depth at all. I want to be smart, dude, to fuck with, to fuck smart women. I oh, fixed yeah. the coffee maker today. Yeah. That made me feel smart. <laughs> That's pretty smart. <laughs> yeah. You just did it on your own? Yeah. That's pretty Open smart. Open that bitch up, clean the yeah, contacts got, got under the, the switch, we're back in business. I love oh, it, Oh, heck dude. yeah, bro. Yeah. That's 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 what I like about you, dude. What I like about Nick, <laughs> the He's romantics, the maker. yeah. You know, everyone Fuck, in I'm that uh, again, everyone dude. in that band after the band broke up individually went to jail for child porn. Iron. No, that's and not they true. didn't know they were pedophiles when they were in the band again. Oh my wow. god! Yeah, no. Are you serious? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, no. Just, <laughs> I'm very good at like knowing one fake fact about yeah. everything. Did Do you, you remember when we up? were in New Orleans and? <laughs> You kept like pointing to different places. You're like, oh, this yeah. is where Phil Anselmo. Yeah, to do the Phil Anselmo tour of New Orleans. <laughs> the Phil Anselmo tour. Pantera fan 220 here. Uh, oh, Roberta Steiner. This is a classic place. Uh, Anselmo used to come here all the time, and he actually sucked a dude's dick in the bathroom. <laughs> Just, how fucking mad just Pantera fans are getting. Yeah. Which is like, no, he did it. Which I'm is, a cowboy from hell. Which is which so sounds funny. stupid, but it's actually really tough. Okay. R.I.P. Dimebag. First of all. Second of all, it's really funny that you know Phil Anselmo is from New Orleans because that's a Texas band. I yeah, mean, they're like, a Houston band. Pantera or Dallas known band, right? No, yeah. I think Dallas. Band. Yeah, they're, they're Dallas known band. as a Texas band. But Anselmo's from New Orleans. But I guess Nick knew that <laughs> Phil Anselmo's from. New yeah, Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everyone in that band had like a 45 inch dick. Really? Is that, tr- is that <laughs> it's true? It's like ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> they all like, had huge dicks? Yeah, Phil Anselmo's dick legitimately goes down past his knees. Whoa. No way. It's just like cartoon dick. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> yeah. Imagine a um, big fat honker, dude. Yeah. Imagine being Pantera. Dude, would you <laughs> trade your life for Pantera's life? <laughs> No, if I could be in, in any band, I'd be in that band, Great White. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's that'd Great be cool. White. Great White was the band that uh, they the had tragedy. Sh- yeah, they had a show in uh, Rhode Island. Was it yeah, Rhode Island? I think it was Massachusetts or yeah. somewhere in New England. Yeah, it was like their final. Well, obviously their final show, and they had like a pyrotechnics <laughs> issue, 
and the venue, like one of the emergency exits was blocked and like a hundred people burned to death. Yeah. What the and fuck? And there's video of it, dude. There's like oh. video of like the doors are locked and you oh. hear people screaming and burning to death. Yeah, yeah. It's really are, scary. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So if Holy I get any, be in any band, I'd be in that one. The most Good reference, dude. One. Yeah, what thanks. happened to them afterwards, dude? Were they uh, fucked? Well, the drummer died. In the thing? Yeah, in the thing. What? Get out. The rest of the band got out. Great White. Great White. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's um, fucked up, dude. Um, if I could be in any band, shit. Uh, if I could be in any band, I'd be an outcast. Sublime. That'd Why be cool. Sublime? Obviously, no, to be wouldn't. Brad Knoll. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'd be an outcast. Brad Knoll. What? The probably the worst songwriter in. Uh, oh my god. In Bradley? American pop pop music history. No, Brad Knoll. Sublime. Is his last name Knoll? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Brad Knoll. Brad something. I don't. Yeah, he's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, remember that song "Date Rape" <laughs> and two joints. <laughs> yeah, I remember being like in seventh yeah. grade and be like, "I'm full. this is what being cool is." Dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I thought that was cool. Isn't it funny? Yeah. Like, it's crazy to think that those were grown ass men. <laughs> they were adults. That, thought, that shit was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, those were adults making that music. It was mm-hmm. in children. Yeah, that's that's really funny. Yeah. Well, that's just funny about Blink One Eighty Two is that they're still doing music that it's like it fucking sucks being seventeen <laughs> and you can't just do what you want. And it's yeah. like, yeah, you're sixty eight years old. <laughs> no, one of them just left because he's he try he's like I'm too grown up for this. Oh yeah, no, he left he, at like forty eight years wow. old. Tom DeLonge he just he left. He like got out. Aliens. He got out right at the right time. Yeah, he's <laughs> aliens. He wants to investigate aliens. He's like, I don't have time for Blink One Eighty Two. My my thing oh, right I'm now is aliens. I got. I'm glad he's finally a freshman in college. Yeah. <laughs> Mentality wise. Yeah, my thing is aliens now, and I'm I, I'm sick of this fucking immature ass <laughs> shit. Yeah, my favorite thing to do now is you know that song. Um, uh, is the song what is it? Uh, what's my age again? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so the lyrics are like, uh, I, I picked her, her up, I took her out, it was a it was Friday, Friday night, night. and something, so, she's feeling right. Yeah, and it's like, you know, and yeah, and she then started, he's like, and head. that's when I turned on the TV, and then it's like, and then I called her mama from the payphone, and I said, I was a cop, you know, he's like playing pranks yeah, yeah. with people, and then it's like, um, no, because no one likes you when you're 23. Yeah. What the hell is Asperger's? You changed it to Asperger's <laughs> instead of ADHD, and then the song's relevant again <laughs> yeah that's true yeah. that would that would really nobody give it a loves second, you when you're 23 second run. what the hell is asperger's my friends say i should act my age <laughs> what's my age again what's my age again <laughs> fuck dude blink 182 that was that good shit dude no nah, they sucked no dude they i was were, much a much were, bigger offspring fan than a blink 182 fan yeah. i was a fan of both pretty fly for a but i was a fan before enema of the state i was like that I was like I like Dude Ranch and Cheshire Cat and Buddha. I was yeah, yeah cuz like you know how East Coast kids were all into like jam band type shit? They were like all into Dave like Matthews Fish and, and Dave Matthews like I think that was more our bad thing. music was pop punk. I think all the the jam band stuff was like that there was like a distinct turning point when bros went too. from listening to only like rap music to liking uh, jam band yeah. stuff. Yeah, Dave Matthews and stuff. Yeah, because I remember my like cousin overnight. That shit fucking. My sucks. cousin went overnight from like being really into like fucking you know uh, Jada Kiss to like up oh, now it's all Jack Johnson and, like, <laughs> right. music you listen to on the way to your very nice vacation. Right, yeah. that makes sense though, dude. It's the it's about time bro got back to being as white as possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Should, yeah, when they wear like boat shoes yeah. and fucking pink polos and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I fucking. I want. I, I'm gay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> nah, I joke. You know, I have nothing. Yeah. I, I just like. You know, Cameron's about, gonna love that, dude. Yeah. I just like, think about like music. Uh, <laughs> music I liked as a teenager that would have been embarrassing or whatever, but I'd like literally stop listening to new shit when I was like 17 or whatever. So it's all the uh-huh. same shit. I know, dude. I still listen to the same Little Wayne mixtapes. Yeah, from 2007, dude. Two, yeah. 2007, Little Wayne. Psh, five man coming. <laughs> yeah, wee 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 wee. Yeah. wee. 2007 was, awesome. was like Drought Two, Dedication Three. Yeah, exactly. it was when he was like exactly coming out with a mixtape every that's week. Exactly. That was yeah. Nicki Minaj was on Dedication Three. Dude, that is. Or I'm sorry, no, the Drought Three. I have a. I have a, a a dream. I don't know why I'm presenting it that way. It's something that's very easily accomplished, but I just want to make a best of compilation of, of all of my favorite songs from the like 2007, 2008 uh, Wheezy like mixtape. That would be era. fucking good. Yeah, it'd be good. 
I wanna. I want to. I have a dream. I thought you were gonna say something about fucking Nicki Minaj. Um, I I really think she'd be so disappointed that it would actually hurt my feelings. <laughs> so I don't know if I. Would. She's too mean. Did you see what she said about Trump or about no. Ivanka? <laughs> what she says some shit at a concert like. I don't know. <laughs> you fucking idiot, dude. Why would you even bring that up? You got nothing for us here. People, what do you mean? I've said good things. Like, <laughs> I'm sick. Stav ate too many brownies. He thinks he did edibles. That's actually just his fucking blood sugar. Just skyrocketing. I'm having a stroke. His pancreas is on his last legs. It's like, please just stop. <laughs> He's not high at all. <laughs> this is just toxins. Yeah. Yeah. That Wasserman Schultz thing is pretty good. The hot sauce really poisoning. Good. Yeah, that's that was a, good. That, that saved, was, that that, saved the know, podcast. I that'll think. earn me another month. No, yeah. well, if they get to 5,000, well, yeah, if they dude. get to 5,000, dude, you're off the pot. No, I'm not. That's a joke. Dude, dude. No, we it's didn't not up to us, stop. dude. No, uh, we did 5,000, yeah, me and Nick we did, dude. We fucked him. He's no, a good, we didn't fuck, and we didn't turn him into a I girl tra- either. Fuck you, dude. You don't know how the fuck I identify, bitch. No, no shut the fuck up. I'm a up. woman get now. You gender I'm surgery. a woman. Donnie, you're like a child walking into a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If Stav has a sex reassignment and you fuck him, then I'll leave the podcast. He already fucked me. But those yeah, two things lipstick. need to happen. I'm wearing lipstick right now. <sighs> Guys... Uh, yeah, no, you're off the podcast at five thousand dollars. <laughs> no, we're not. And then at ten thousand dollars, we get uh, we get Louis J. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dude? I'm on the podcast now. And if you think if you think Stav says faggot a lot, <laughs> wait until we get my apologies. It. Yeah, I'm actually on the real ass podcast this Wednesday. Oh yeah, I'll be the guest. Yeah, Louis, I actually asked Louis to be a guest on this one today. Yeah, that'd be but awesome. there was a scheduling conflict. Louis we should get him on here. On. Yeah. yeah, I like that. All his friends are really mean to him. I like that. That's, yeah. that's pretty. Fun. Well, everybody's mean. To what everybody. Bobby said to him at the um, at the roast. <laughs> the roast was so yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where he was like, "You are so unfunny, Louis." <laughs> yeah. He's like, "You have I've never heard you finish a joke." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, "That's why you're hosting." He was yeah. like, "That's why you're up there. This. You're not sitting here or roasting." <laughs> <laughs> God, I I didn't even know Bobby could be that mean. Oh, that, was, yeah. dude, that was so funny. He could be the meanest guy. Yeah, Bobby's. Bob, they're all funny. They're yeah, all good. Funny shit. Yeah, um, yeah. I really <clears throat> did not put the effort forward. Well, I guess I did. I just thought it. I knew it was going to be one of those things where, like, either they'll think it's really funny that I'm calling them a pedophile because, like, you know, I, I'm the pedophile right, guy right, or right. whatever. Uh, or yeah, that's tank. your thing. That is your hey, thing. Yeah, and then it's like it'll tank, and then that'll be the end of the fucking thing. And then it tanked, and I'm like, well, all right, I know how this is going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't know, man. The other thing is, JP is hard to fucking roast. No, he's not. I mean, you go the old money Irish thing. You make fun of him for you know being fucking tall and being pale. Yeah, it, it would have been. But easy you know, you're right. right. But what I'm saying is easy to write those jokes. It's just that's not funny to me. Right. Yeah. What I'm saying is you got to stay true to art. You got to stay true to yourself. No, I mean, I, I just want to do shit yeah. that I think is funny. I yeah. Mean, yeah. But that's what I mean show. is like they had that other battle where it was like two dudes whose whole families had died. Oh yeah. my god, that's <laughs> it was incredible. Just, like yeah. Evan, Evan, and uh, Scott Chaplin had both had tragic death. Parents who family. died yeah. tragically. That's all. That's hilarious. Yeah. Like a cop dad that beat his family and then <laughs> <Yeah>. died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's, that roast was there. They were incredible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, then Evan just fucking whatever. Yeah, he sang that fucking song. Yeah, but that's that's easier to fucking roast someone who's had tragedy. Yeah, that's true. Adam, why don't you do a roast? Um, I I could do it against who? Uh, Ian Fidance. <laughs> I could definitely do All it right, against go right Ian now. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, coming to the stage, Adam Friedland, uh, hometown, uh, fucking uh, the bank in Israel. <laughs> uh, get it, get it, do you fucking get it? Do you get the joke? Yeah. Everybody? <laughs> uh, com- idiot? Coming up next to the stage, Ian Fidance, Off the Wagon, Delaware. Off the Wagon? Oh, yeah, he went nuts. Did you see that? He, like, was posting the N-word on Janelle's Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's doing better now, Ian. You're in our thoughts. We yeah. love you. Don't worry. This is premium. This is a premium oh, episode. Oh, good. Fuck Ian. <laughs> we can no, mention Ian's troubles. That episode, a, a bunch of people told me that episode we had him on was, like, amazing. 
It was really funny. Yeah, we had fun with that the one. The best part yeah. is I told him we were going to ask him stories about like yeah, he didn't say anything. all the prostitutes yeah. he yeah. fucked and shit. Yeah. And then he, so he told his girlfriend, look, I'm going to go on a podcast and I'm going to say some stories. She's like, okay, well, I just want to hear them first. And so he, he told, told her, her all the stories <laughs> yeah. and then he didn't tell a single one on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but he didn't even talk, really. Yeah. No. He was barely a guest. That's what we need to do. We didn't have a guest, so we just bully. That's Yeah, good. I mean, I, it's that worked well. Yeah. Especially, like, when he started doing the impressions. Now we're talking about other podcasts we've done. It um, doesn't matter, uh, man. This one's gone on way too long. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's you know? not, it hasn't been bad. Well, I'm sometimes. sick. I'm fucking sick. I'm burnt out. I just want, I want that goddamn Vitamix blender. You'll get one, buddy. You'll yeah. get a vitamin. I, I really just need a seven hundred dollar blender. <laughs> it's true. That's what I need in my life. That and a laser printer. And these are my new purchases. Our you friend, our friend Michael got a a blend tech. Yeah. And he was straight up depressed about the fact that he had the second <laughs> best blender on the market. <laughs> it's like he could have had the first. Fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's Bye. the episode. Bye, everyone. Thank you.